Amy. I'm a first year student in GMIT. I am studying Bachelor of Business Event Management with Public Relations and this is a day in my life. I usually begin my day by, if I have my lectures around nine o'clock, I might get up around half eight. I'm lucky enough to be living right across the road um, from, the, from the Dublin Road campus where most of my lectures would be on. The combination is so close, it's literally right across the road. Really, really helpful just in case you were running a little bit late. It's really comfortable and there's so many students around, not a lot of first year, second year students around um, this student combination. So there's an awful lot of people in similar situation to myself and um, similar age group. So as I said, it's only a, a three minute walk from my house over to the Dublin Road campus, straight into my lecture hall. It takes a total of about five minutes depending on what side of the campus it's on. Um, but it's usually, I'm usually there within five to ten, ten minutes sitting, sitting in my seat. In GMIT we're blessed because the numbers aren't massive. We have a nice number of classes, they're small intimate classes, but we also would have lectures and tutorials. And the best thing about this is that we actually have the same lecturer in contact within the lecture or the tutorial. So you're always in contact with the same person and that you get to know them on a first name basis and they get to know you on a first name basis. To work in an IT, um, you must have industry experience. So when you're when they're explaining um, a specific topic to you, they can actually tell you first-hand experience of, of reality um, and dealing with that, and you know that you're getting first-hand experience in relation to it. When the lecturers are speaking as well, it's infectious. You know that they're passionate about it. You know that they've worked in the industry. You know that they have a love for the course and for the program that you're studying. And you can, you can really, really get that vibe off the lectures. In GMIT, we are a bit unique as we have five campuses. We have the Castle Bar, the Letter Frack, Mount Bellew, Dublin Road and also the Centre for Creative Arts and Media at the Clumara campus. I have spent a bit of time myself in the Centre for Creative Arts and Media in Clumara as it is one of the closest to the Dublin Road campus. Not just studying art and design but it's a great crossover and the fact that I'm actually a member of a film society that we actually have and I get to take part in filmmaking, maybe behind or uh, in front of camera and it also is actually linking into uh, the degree I'm doing as well as part of a project that I'm doing and the fact that we actually had to make an advert. So it was brilliant to be able to go down to another campus and see and use their uh, tools and skills down there and get to talk to different people with different interests as well. In GMIT we also have some student services um, for students on campus um, such as the health unit, counselling, chaplaincy and also we have a student services base as well where you can go and find out about all these services, book an appointment or even just talk to a member of staff in relation to help that we would have on campus so, such as the students, uh, student assistant fund and um, this is just a fund uh, within GMIT that will provide assistance uh, to students who may be struggling, um, who may need that extra bit of support throughout the year, um, maybe in relation to some fees, maybe in relation to help to pay a bit of rent, anything. You can pop into the student services, have a talk with them. They're very helpful, very nice. Students Union is a great place to get some extra information like grants, accommodation and even some general um, advice. There are four full-time elected officers, the overall president, the deputy president for education, vice president for welfare and the vice president for the Mayo campus. They run many events throughout the year and they also run the clubs and societies. There's also a library on campus and it's, it's really handy um, in case you might have a couple of hours that are coming up to exam time or in case a big project is due, if you have an hour or two spare that you can just pop down to the library, get the last bit of work done on that, get the last bit of study in. But it also actually has a new initiative, um, the Maths and Writing Centres um, in the library. This is so helpful in the fact that if you're struggling with maths, whether it be a business course, engineering course, science course, it doesn't matter. Um, if you're struggling with any sort of maths that you can pop in here and they can give you a quick hand. Or also they have a writing centre as well. And this is really good for any first year students in the fact that we will be writing an awful lot of reports or in different kind of style of writing compared to secondary school. So it really helps with the transition in relation to third level. BMIT is also one of the only institutes uh, with the PASS system in place for first years. This is a fantastic initiative for the fact that 
Um, we meet once a week um, with students who will be either in second, third, fourth, fourth year of our course and we get to talk to them about what to expect. They can give us a hand in relation to dealing with certain lectures, dealing with certain um, exams and also some CAs. First year can be a bit scary but PASS has really helped me um, with making new friends, getting to know more people, even getting to know more people in my class and also outside of the class as well. Um, I find that I'm in regular contact with um, students from the past, as in the past leaders, and they're very helpful even in the corridors, not just within that one hour in the past session. There are a couple of different places where you can also eat on campus, which is great and handy. Um, we have the canteen and also on the Dublin Road campus we have a, a cafe called Barbarista. The food is great, um, there's great buzz um, around, even if you're not eating, you, you can pop in there, sit down there, maybe do a project, just go in and have a chat with some friends. They do um, loads of different things, they even do dinners in the evening time as well, so in case you are stuck in the, in the library even in, in the evening time, you can just pop down to the canteen, have a bit of food and go on back up and keep on continuing with your studies. But there's also a health and leisure centre um, on campus which has loads of different classes from yoga to, to kickboxing to um, kettlebells to body pump, everything you'd want and it's fantastic because some of them are run through lunchtime as well so if you have a spare hour and you want to de-stress you can pop down over to the health and leisure centre. I'm absolutely thrilled with the idea that I came to Galway to study as it's such a student friendly um, city. It's very safe and I never have to worry um, it's a good size, it's not too big or too small, everything is here, there's a full choice of pubs and clubs as well which makes for a great nightlife when going out with a couple of friends. Um, I'm absolutely delighted with the idea that I came to go with study, everyone is so friendly um, from the shops to the locals, they're very welcoming to all students.